So, <clears throat> what we just did was make things a lot simpler. Now, imagine if you didn't do the template method. So let's basically, let's close out of this. You opened up a brand new studio. Here we go. So imagine opening up a blank uh, studio like this. Now you'd have to do this every single time. It's, it opens up blank. You have to switch the size over here. You got to make sure it's letter. Okay, you got to make sure you're importing over in the tools. You got to make sure that you're importing as is and not fit to page. You have to turn the grid on. You have to change the style so everything is, you know, as small as possible. Change the thickness and everything. Then you have to click and drag the file that you wanted like this okay then you had to go into send see it's simple you're gonna have to go in to the line mode look see the, the mountain 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 you actually you're gonna have to change all this you, you gotta change this to, to cut and ultimately uh, you know change and make sure all your settings are done then if you hit send that's great if you wanted to save it that's fine you got out of this whole thing and then what do you do hmm? yeah, if you open up the silhouette again like that it's it's gonna have the blank version again the 12 by 12 it's going to take you, you know, a good five minutes to reset and redo all of the settings over and over and over again. What we did is we saved ourselves some time by opening up and creating a template. And with a template, it has all of our settings saved. So what we do is we open up the template, has all of our settings, and then we just click and drag the DXF files one by one and then we save them just like this and all of our settings are are there so imagine saving five minutes on this five minutes five minutes five minutes five minutes you just saved yourself 30 minutes of work time just by creating that template so good job what I already have done is I actually have done that for every section of the armor that I've created and you're gonna want to do this too it's a lot of prep work in the back end but trust me it's going to work out all of this prep work what this means is when you're all saved and everything's ready to go like I am for me I'm actually working on these shoulder pieces so all I'm doing now is now that everything's set ready to happen I'm, all I do is I open up the file that I want. See, take a look at this. So, when I'm ready to go, I just go to send. I already know all of my settings are taken care of uh, because of the uh, the template that we use. So down here, I've got everything plugged in. Cameo three status is ready. I can click send, and it's gonna send this page off. Uh, once it sends it to the cutter, uh, I'm just going to let it run its course. I'm going to take the paper off of the mat. Uh, I'm going to take the pieces off of the mat. I'm going to slap a new paper on there. Uh, and then I'm just going to I'm just going to open. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to click send. Again, I know that all everything has been taken care of. I click send here. It's going to go.
to the machine. It's going to make its cut. I just rip the paper off, put a new paper on. I open again. Uh, number, you know, number two. Uh, then I, yeah, I just again I go down to number three as well, and I just keep going down the line. I just open up the file, send, send, right here. It's gonna cut. I take the paper off, slap a new paper on, open, file open, all the way down to number six. I'm gonna click over here and send in the upper right. Again, everything is is all prepped for me. And if we take a look, click send, and done. It's it's printed out. It's ready to go. Um, and I can move on to the next piece when when I'm all said and done. Uh, I do recommend working one section of the armor at a time. Don't. I wouldn't recommend printing out all of the abs, the entire back, the belt, or whatever armor that you're working on, or whatever file you're working on. Um, for example, I'm working on the shoulders as we speak, so I'm actually going to print out all of the pieces of the shoulder. I'm going to glue them all together, so that way there's a, a part that I can set aside. When the shoulders are done, I'm going to move on to the hand plates. Uh, I'm going to glue every all the pieces together, and then I'm going to move on uh, to the next piece, whatever that may be, maybe the biceps, uh, kind of work my way down. So I'm going to print out page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, glue them all together, set them aside, and then I'm going to move on to the next piece, um, you know, four arms uh, going down the line, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 11, uh, glue them together, and then... Uh, you know, set them aside, move on to the next piece, so on and so forth. So if we were to actually take a look at this, look at that, there are 17 pages. Again, how amazing the, the template is. Um, imagine five minutes on each one of these things. If I didn't have that, uh, that piece, if I didn't have that template, uh, that would have cost me 85 minutes or 1.41 1 hours of uh, of work time of just resetting all of the settings in the silhouette cameo. So that's what that um, that's what that template can do for you as well. Yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks.